Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios, specifically ratios as multiplicative comparisons. And this is standard 6.4c in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 3 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So a house painter is mixing five gallons of blue paint to nine gallons of yellow paint in order to make some green paint. So what we have are some sample ratios down here, and we need to find the sample ratio that is going to match this five to nine. So you can write a ratio as a fraction. You can write a ratio with a colon right there. Or you can write a ratio with the word two. I find it most useful to write it as a fraction because we are very familiar with fractions and how they work. So I'm going to label mine though because I want to make sure that I keep this five blue, not just five of anything. Labels are very important with ratios and then nine gallons of yellow. So we need to find one of these four A, B, C, or D that could match this same ratio. So really we're looking, uh, we're looking to compare here and find an equivalent fraction. So a simple way to do that would be just to set up, let's just set up all of our 5 to 9, and let's make that a 9 rather than a G, and let's just kind of look at it like this. 5 to 9, and let's look at A. So let's look at 30 to 54. It's going to be the same ratio. It says blue to yellow. That order is very important. And let's just think, can we make this an equivalent fraction by multiplying? So 5 times 6 is going to make 30. 9 times 6, that makes 54. So it looks like right off the bat, that might be it. Let's just double check to make sure that we've got it though. So 5 to 9, blue to yellow. And 6 to 10, nope. 6 to 10, that's not even going to be equivalent. I can tell you that right now. We're not multiplying 5 times anything to get to 6 or 9 times anything. You know what they did? They just did plus 1. That's not how equivalent fractions work, so that's no good. All right, so let's try that next one, that 5 blue to 9y. Let's try that 10 to 45, because that could work. At least that looks like a multiple of 5 and a multiple of 10. So we're always going to put our labels here to make sure it is blue and Y on matching on the numerator and blue and Y matching on the denominator. So how do we get from 5 to 10? We're making equivalent fractions. Remember, when we multiply fractions, we just go straight across. So 5 times 2 makes 10. That's good. But does 5, does 9 times 2 make 45? No, that's got to be 9 times 5. So I can multiply 5 by something to get to 10. I can multiply 9 by something to get to 5, but here's the problem. You can only make an equivalent fraction if you multiply by something that's equal to 1. 2 fifths is not equal to 1. If I were to make that 2 over 2, or if I were to make that 5 over 5, either one of those would work. But 2 fifths, that is not generating an equivalent fraction, which means that is not our answer. And let's take a look at D. So D, we're going to look at our 5 blue to 9y. We're going to look at 27 fifteenths. Hmm. You know what, if we were to flip this, that could almost work. So look at look at what we have here. You would almost say 3 thirds, but look, you have to multiply 5 times 3 to get 15, and you have to get 9 times 3 to get 27. So the 3 thirds works fine, but they have this 27 fifteenths flipped. If they were to make it 15 27 if they were to flip it, now we'd actually have an answer that would work. But they didn't. They flipped it to 27 15 which means if this is our incorrect answer, answer is A.